How's it going, Kirk? I think I'm just about ready to get started, so that's good timing on your part. So let's cycle through, switch over the graphics. See the white screen briefly? There we go. Let's go ahead and load up. So where we last left off, I'm sorry, one moment. I will put it in, be right back, because I, the game does not like it when I switch off of the game midstream, so one moment. Sorry about that. Just want to make sure all my messaging services are not captured. So we're good to go. Yeah, Buong indeed. <laughs> so let's see, Chan. While people trickle in, I figured we could take a look at the journal. I'll try to do a little better at showing these off. So I guess in terms of plot, we've cleared chapter one. We got a surprising amount of progress on chapter two already. I mean, according to this, we have to let, we have to map the island and search for castaways. Progress notes. I guess it'll let us know what party members have joined, who we rescued, and if we cleared obstacles. Maybe it'll become more important later. Hmm. And then we we found this note on the beach mysteriously. It was in a chest. I don't know why it was in a chest, but hey, it was there. And so we can also see the quests in progress, which is good to know, because I forgot exactly what we needed, so it was sort of five or times two. Hmm. And it looks like we unlocked some villager notes for Sahad. They're saying a fisherman from Greek who possesses an abundance of knowledge about the ocean, emotionally honest to a fault. But I don't remember all the characters having villager notes earlier. So this one says A, then parentheses, surprisingly, and parentheses, married man who has a wife and daughter waiting for him back home. According to Sahad, his wife is actually very beautiful. So it seems like it seems like Lexi is the only person we don't have notes on so far of the core cast. So we read about her high standards before, but now we have Dogi, who's apparently 26. I wasn't paying attention to the ages until just now. So apparently he's the good friend and muscle-bound partner to Adol. Though rough around the edges, he's an honorable, kind-hearted man. And apparently skilled laborer. Add up to both la manual labor and careful construction, he focuses efforts on fortifying Castaway Village. Hello, Grenadite. How's it going? Oh, chat. I'm a little concerned that we're this far along in the progress for Captain Death Flag over here. He only has one more thing to unlock and we're only in Chapter 2. Chad, I see some really bad things in store for Captain Death Flag, I'm just letting you know. I mean, look at that. Dogi, who probably, if he's gonna die, I don't think he will, has four stars. It, is the Captain the only one with three stars? I, I swear the number of death flags just keep going up the more you just look at this character. There is no way this character is making it to the end of the game. I'm I'm almost willing to bet money on it at this point. Like it's it's like 99.999999% certain at this point. <laughs> I mean, up until the game just outright tells us he's going to die. I suppose there's always that incrementally small chance. So let's see, he apparently sports a prominent red beard, exudes leadership with quiet honor and dignity. So Captain's duty is the first villager note. Burdened by the loss of Lombardia, he feels more determined than ever to fulfill his duties as captain. Oh, we did witness that cutscene earlier. And now we have Younger Days, entry number two. Worked as a shipwright in his younger days, his daughter is always asking him to build stuff for her. Yeah, that was the campfire scene we concluded on. So Captain Gunnabite it is... Uh, Almost friends with us. We almost have his approval rating. Oh. Allison? Why is your approval ranking also only three? 
I'm a little concerned for you. But we haven't unlocked any villager notes for you yet, so you might last a little longer than the captain. But we'll see. So she's described as a lovely, tidy seamstress. She came ashore without her husband and worries for his safety. So I have a feeling we won't get villager notes for her until we get her husband. So possibly judging by this, she might she might survive a few chapters at least. I don't think she'll be the first to go. Yeah, and then we have Little Paro. I think the chat agrees we, we are not fond of the name. They keep, it's gotta try harder with the names. He has a fickle personality, according to this. Oh, look, look, <laughs> look at the face of Shoebill here. Who's a she? I have to remember that that's a she, because a name like Shoebill, I would have assumed was uh, a male name. But no, they said she when we were feeding her fish. So I'm guessing she's going to end up being the fishing minigame kind of check so we're gonna have to fish in as many different places as possible and presumably if we get all the fish types we'll both build the approval and also get more items maybe so that's kind of weird I'm not gonna say well weird's a strange word for that but it, it's different I can't say the voice clips have ever been really gathered like this before so it's kind of like being able to review the skits again in a game which exists in other games but the format here is very different so we can leave we can relive all those moments i guess they put these in here because they thought maybe people would miss them while we're doing combat and things like that which i, I guess is fair oh we have to we are really far behind with our recipes apparently and it describes fish soup, our first recipe, as a delicious soup slowly simmered to concentrate the natural flavor of the dish. R ingredients required rock salt and white meat. So I have a feeling when we botch fishing, we'll be making that quite a lot. So it looks like the... To Wait, hold on, chat, chat, hold on. Tell, tell me which one of these doesn't sound uh, quite like the other things on the list. So we have discovered fish slash total fish, 4 out of 28, okay. Total catches, 12, okay. Total treasures fished up, so I think we were on the right track where the, you could get something from fishing, 0. Total bosses fished up, 0. Defeated primitive fish, 0. Hmm, I wonder what those mean. And we have little bestiary guides to each of the monsters we encountered before. So we saw Maltu before. I don't remember if we read the description of Maltu. So they're mollusks that found that are found in the sand. They're docile, unassuming, and if they perceive a threat, they will defend themselves by any means necessary. Then we have Ripsius which is a crustacean that prefers the coastal areas. On top of their big meaty claws, they can also defend themselves by spitting a blistering salty foam. Okay. Okay, I guess the starfish is called Vastera. I guess those are its eyes. I wasn't really super paying attention to it before. I guess those are the eyes, like, roughly in the center. It almost looks like it has an eyebrow with the way the wrinkle is in the center. So it's described as a giant sea star that populates the nameless coast. They pose a serious threat to smaller creatures on the beach, as they will eat anything they can wrap their arms around. Yeah, we're very familiar with Boar, but I don't think we looked at this description for Cepus. So it's a species of seahorse found throughout the Gate Sea. Normally slow moving, they can spew jets of compressed seawater to propel themselves a considerable distance. I feel like they only use it to attack us. I don't recall them ever using it for mobility, but if you say so, game. Oh, and then we have the Organian, which is a which is just a crab monster. We saw the where. I don't know if crabs. I guess. Mm, I mean, it's only got four legs, or maybe it's got two in the front. The picture's kind of weird. But anyway, so as the crustacean observed bounding along the coast, they use their formidable jumping power to strike prey from above. The meter in their powerful legs is actually very tasty. Then we have the... I don't know what this would equate to. I mean, it kind of reminds me of a walrus, I guess. So the sabrodo. 
Large marine beast that lives in the warm ocean water. Herds of them are often found basking in the sun. So that's kind of like seal behavior too. Territorial and aggressive, they will attack anything that gets too close. And then we fought the giant bat last time, which is... <laughs> I don't really know how to say that. It's like Bift Ariza? Bift Ariza? Hmm. But it's apparently an island bat that grew to an enormous size and claimed the water drop cave as its territory. It immobilizes intruders with a roar, then treads them with its claws. I mean, I kind of destroyed this boss, so I, I honestly don't remember what he attacked with. And then we have Avalodragil, which again, I'm very curious how many things will have Dragil as the final name portion. So apparently this is a mysterious and ferocious beast that attacks the Hod. Uh-huh, that's true. It goes out of the way to attack humans, and conventional weaponry seems to have no conventional weaponry seems to have no effect on it. What? We attacked it with swords. Description, I don't agree with you. Also, that health difference between the, the bat boss and this is kind of insane. That can't be- that can't be right. Chat, there's no way- there's no way that this creature had 10 times the amount of health and double defense. I don't believe it. I would believe 1040 and more defense, but not 10,000 health. I don't believe you, game. Unless we're refighting that thing later. I don't really believe that at all. Hmm. I'm gonna check one other thing. So we got a lot of accessories last time, but we're still missing gauntlets for the girl. Hold on a second. I'm getting a little bit of funky movement here. Let me let me quickly troubleshoot that. I apologize. I thought it was looking good earlier, but it's being finicky again. Again, that's a, I think the downside with the Steam version. I feel like it's I feel like it's a little off sometimes. So I will be right back as I look into this. Not in my nature to stand around. So one moment chat, I am just going to try restarting the game since it is being a little weird. Hopefully this restart will fix things. So this is this is proof it is a little finicky. So I did show off the stuttering a little bit. I'm not sure how much the chat picked up on that. But sometimes like when you're doing the run animation, it tends to have like a jerky motion. And how I fixed that before is that I just went into full screen, as I mentioned at the previous stream. Okay. I think it I think it had its little hissy fit and it's good to go. So let's go back right into the game. So sorry about that. I think it looks fine now. So let's see, no more side quests, correct? No, just this one again. So they needed the soft material, which to refresh my memory, we could trade for that. 
by getting more flexible branches. So why don't we take advantage of our ability to teleport, perhaps? If it'll let us. We'll see. So we had a destination here, a roadblock here. But if we travel back to the Sand Cape, I believe there was an easy-to-gather item here. Oh, I was just reminded. I don't think I showed off her special yet. But I'm going to ignore these enemies for now. Oh, it actually hasn't respawned. So resetting the game doesn't reset that, it appears, which is a bit unfortunate. But let's show off the super attack since we're here. And we attain more bait that way, which isn't terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. The damage he deals is just completely insane. <laughs> Poor enemies. Hello, coconut. Oh, we actually got bait from the coconut. That was a little unexpected. So yeah, her seem more single target focus, which I guess kind of goes with her description. Hmm, I don't know if it was just me, but did one of those enemies just teleport when I walked up to it? I swear one of them looked like it was in the jump animation, but then somehow was flat on the ground again instantly. Looked a little suspect. But in any case, since apparently nothing has unlocked, or by unlocked, I mean refreshed itself. Let's go to a new area. Hopefully we could get more wood there. Hello, Mr. Starfish. Always improving. So again, the coconuts will serve as healing items for us, so that'll be nice. We need exactly six people to make progress here. So I guess we're going to call for the parrot to help us progress. All right, let's do this. Yes. Oh. Thanks, guys. I like that now Sahad is just voice acting for all of it because I no longer have the main character on point. <laughs> Good luck on the search. Hmm. So we have presumably four points of interest and then plot. So our goal is to not plot. But hey, I immediately see a treasure chest. Oh, I tried parrying there, but it didn't work. Skill level up. I was distracted by that. Did that actually do anything for us? Hard to tell. It didn't make it cost more, which is good. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Vortex, honestly. I feel like... Mm, it locks me into place a little too much. It's something I wouldn't mind the AI doing, but me personally, this move is just so much better for me. Okay, so we got a healing item out of that. We haven't had any reason to use healing items yet, so I think we're okay when it comes to that. Yeah, like, see there, I was kind of trading blows with him. So it's not even super good at interrupting attacks either, which is a bit unfortunate. Hmm. Well, I see a little hill here, so... I'm going to sweep around here just to get to it. I want to make sure I'm also... Oh, I'm also going towards the plot. I don't want that. Oh, maybe there's a site... Oh, maybe they'll comment upon me looking at the tree. Maybe that's what's going on. Oh no, that's a that's a series of nests. Never mind, that's the landmark. New location discovered. Birdsong Rock, an impressive discovery made on the island of Siren. 
It will be unforgettable memory of your adventure. Okay, so it'll say the same bottom description each time. Oh, they had no more comments about that? That's kind of disappointing. The other one, they commented about it. Now I'm going to destroy the bird nest and get a flexible branch. So I think we need four more. I tried pairing there, and I think I just did it too early. Oh, we just picked up a soft fiber, so we actually have everything we need now. Huh. Okay, that's kind of convenient. <laughs> Why does that lift them? That's so unfair. Chat, that is absolutely unfair. Hello, fishing spot. He has like the worst fishing pose ever. Why would you fish like this? What a madman. Oh, I think that's a new fish type. Yeah, there we go. We caught the trout. So, since there are new fish here... It is your turn now, Adol. Let's try fishing them up with each character. Because, again, we did pick up a lot of bait by killing those giant starfish. I think we got at least four just from that. No, it's not awesome at all. It's the same fish. Allow me. I'm going. Uh, my rod. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did she just shout my rod? Oh, that was way too easy to pick up. Oh, what? What? No, help, game? <laughs> I guess we fished up a boss. Joke's on you, this attack lifts you forever. Perish. Well, thanks, Laxia? Question mark? I mean, I guess that was new. I mean, he's supposed to be the fisherman of the group. I just want to remind you. D wow, I really did just get a triple kill with this character. Oh. Chad, it's been a while since I've played with the protagonist this strong. I mean, just look at that. Chat, like, do I even need to use any other skills? I mean, just look at that. That AoE is just beautiful. Okay, more iron ore. That'll help if we have to use it for crafting later. And we got spare flexible branches. A lot of flexible branches, apparently. I just want to explore this area. And then I'll, I'll go back, because I want to make sure we don't miss side quests. I have a feeling some of them have, like, a time limit. And they might expire mid-chapter, potentially. Especially if a character could die. Oh, I was out of skill meter, and I was not paying attention. So I took that to the face. But don't worry, I sat on him just for chat. Oh? There was another landmark I missed? I mean, I could see the smoke of the campsite from here, which is kind of interesting. What did I miss that was over here? Uh, I'm not seeing anything in particular. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no, 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 it's like way, it's like way over there, I was gonna say. Okay, since I backtracked already, why don't we take advantage of the map and let's go to Castaway Village. Just to make sure we get that side quest out of the way. <laughs> I was like, it was, it was going off quite a lot. So we're gonna get five healing items for this, which I guess is okay. In my defense, the talk and the jump button were the same button, so I didn't mispress that time. I just pressed too early. 
Okay, so we didn't pick up two soft fibers, so I'm going to have to convert one of them still into the soft fiber. Not a big deal. I'm not going to use my other resources unless I really need to. Like, I'll pick up one of these to maybe save us some time later, but... Other than that, it seems like some of the basic crafting materials are needed for other items. So perhaps we'll hold on to our flexible branch for now. Even without us helping making the curtains by hand prove somewhat difficult, but thanks to Allison's help they managed to finally complete the curtains. Wow, okay. <laughs> Apparently, the, the, well, they certainly did it. I'm gonna say I'm surprised we pulled this off because, again, they're kind of in the middle of an island without too many supplies. We may be deserted. We may be on a deserted island, says Laxia, but we can still make trappings such as this. If you say so. Uh-oh, now she doesn't have to worry about being exposed ever again. It all ties back to the misunderstanding, chat. Oh, classic, turn your head, blush, and tell us to forget about it. Um, Again, I already said, chat, I'm not a fan of the responses where there's the double question mark. So let's see what happens if we actually apologize to her. Will she will she behave normally or will she sass us? Because if she sasses us, we are going to at least double sass her back. I think that's the rule of thumb. All right, she's apparently not ready to forgive us, but we've entered her good graces. So she decided to forget about what happened instead. I mean, I guess that's progress. So she's feeling better now. And she says that we'll have more matters to attend to if and when the number of castaways increases. So she'll be asking us requests in the future. <laughs> we did it. Uh-oh, approval plus one, five healing items. Which again, we haven't really had a reason. Uh, uh well, well then, chat. Uh, I guess she just became a whole lot better. Th that is an amazing quest reward, chat. I was literally going to say we don't need the healing items, but... And it increased his health too? Oh my gosh, this is like the best side quest. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait a minute. Look how much health she has. She almost caught up to Sahad. What a monster. And plus he got 50 more health, which doesn't which doesn't hurt. Yeah. I am I am shocked, chat. I, we're getting actually good quest rewards in this style game. I don't know how to handle that. Cause I was like, oh whatever to the to the healing items. Oh, we got another soft fiber. That's a shame. Makes me regret using the other thing earlier. I don't want to go this way. Let's go this way. So our goal, other than destroying these to get our mana points back, is we need to figure out where to go next. So presumably we're going to be able to kind of loop around to kind of come back to where we were before. Because if you remember, this is probably the tree log we saw earlier. So we went to like the boss fight area and then there was the fight right beyond that. So we're going to look for a way to U-turn here so we could get some uh, quick travel. Chat, I would just like to say how unfair it is that I was... That that was not a intentional flash guard, but I was tapping my insta-kill button. And that apparently caused the flash guard to happen. Oh, I rolled slightly too early. I was hoping for the flash guard there, and it didn't happen. See, when you try to do it on purpose, it just doesn't reward you. Something in the tree? Which tree? Oh, they're just talking about the nests. 
Yeah, I guess we're just gonna get a lot of pheasant eggs because we're monsters. So we're getting a lot of free soft fiber now. So I guess it's good that we did conserve some of our munition. Oh, and even this respawned, huh? Which is interesting how fast this stuff came back in comparison to the other area, right chat? Because I mean, I went back to the previous place and all the logs were still cut, but we came back here and we just got it twice. Maybe it counts like number of screens traveled or something? I'm not really sure. My gosh, she just keeps moving and killing. What a monster chat. <laughs> I was gonna swap up what character I use, but honestly, if he's just gonna do this the whole game, I mean, I think I found the real protagonist. I mean, I guess I have to occasionally kill enemies. Because even when I get the skill kill, it only gives me 5 MP back. Ooh, new song. Interesting. What is that? Oh. Hello, Caterpillar. I recognized too late what it was doing. So apparently these shoot poison, which is kind of bad for us. A good place to fish. A good place to fish, you say? Oh, what was that golden light I thought I saw there for a second? Hmm. I mean, I guess it could have been ripples. Ooh, a new one, a Garvis. Apparently had iron ore with it for some reason. <laughs> he, he's he's so excited to be swapped into. What's fighting today? Getting a lot of the same kinds of fish. That's a bit disappointing. I'm going. I'm going. I'm surprised that was in range, but sure. I've got something. Ooh, this one's taking a while to reel in. What is this? It must be a new fish. I caught something. Nope. Strange. Well, I might as well fish this place out. Seeing Chris hypothesize the reason Adol's so happy is because I'm finally using him again. I mean, he, like, he's not bad, but I mean, Sahad. Maybe when there's more enemies that are resistant to him, I'll be more likely to swap into them. And also, apparently, they just heal when I swap out of them, so that's nice, because I was definitely injured earlier. Again, he just feels so smooth. For, like, a heavy character, he just... Mm, never stops moving. Ooh, looks like we could get honey here. Well, just literally one thing of honey. So I'm glad that they help juggle. It seems like they do use skills on occasion, which is good. Huh? It says there's a treasure chest here. Oh, it's on the other side of the tree. Blade ring attained. And what does the blade ring do? 10 strength, but I lose 150 health. Um... Yeah, I mean, I guess I could do that. I already have more health than most characters. Apparently Laxia is the party tank now, by the way. <laughs> Which is just kind of silly. Yeah. 
And I like that he could kind of stall in the air with the dash. Like, see how, like, he normally has, like, a kind of short jump? But if I do that dodge, he just goes forever in the air. And then I could cancel the dodge into the butt slam. It's like they knew, chat. So I could just kind of approach an enemy like this. We attained cabbage. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize there were there that many in front of me. So let's get more honey. And they said something about a treasure chest. Oh, I see it now. Three beast claw. Okay, so that was supposedly a rare ingredient. And we're coming up to a natural wonder or maybe obstacle. Ah, uh, an obstacle. Requires eight people. Hmm. We're going to have to start rescuing people if we want to see more of the island. So that's kind of an interesting way to gate off your progress. So you can't go to like the super overpowered areas yet. So we still have a story destination that I didn't quite see how to get to. My gosh, the damage is insane. Wandering around this deserted island is making me homesick. Yes, me too. I wonder what the situation at home is like. So, Laxie is wondering what the situation at home is like. Hmm. Well, I see the log that I wanted to find, so that's a good sign. But I think I see a chest over here. Or at least something I could destroy. Yeah, some iron ore. Yeah, I want to topple that log. I have a feeling that's the point of interest we saw earlier. <laughs> Just does so much damage, chat. Okay, so I don't want to jump down here because that would be a big mistake. Oh. Oh, I guess it is person height, I suppose. Hmm. Wait, what's that weird black object? Is that... Huh. I guess, I guess it's technically a water texture. It just looked a bit strange. Oh, that's a fishing spot. Hmm. Let's do it! I hope I catch a big one. Well, we'll try to fish up a couple things here. I don't have that much bait left, though. Right. <laughs> this one's all right. So again, we'll just go for one of each. Right. Or if we run out of fish shadows, that's also fine. Today. I'm glad we get to hear this song again. I think this is still so far my favorite overworld theme. Oh! Oh, look at that! Added directions! Oh, a treasure chest! Caught treasure chest. S rank. Big pearl attained. Okay. Hmm, no more fish though. So there we go, chat. We got to see a whole bunch of new things. I suppose we could see where Big Pearl is. Can sometimes be found inside Big Fish. So this is a rank 2 rarity. Okay. So that's kind of nice. We'll use him briefly, chat. I mean, he's also super fast and fluid. So I kind of like both of them for that. But yeah, we should definitely just jump down and go deal with that log. Oh, we didn't even need to strike it. I was expecting a cinematic there, so I, I put the controller down for a brief second. Okay, so we unlocked a shortcut. That's nice. 
Oh no. Game, why do you tease us like this? Can we really not reach this still? Oh, that's right. We have to climb the, the green icon. We had to climb to get to that. Okay. That's a tease. Yeah, we, ju we just... We just, like, looked at the thing. I, we didn't even swing at it. We just looked at it, and it just knew not to mess with Sahad, I think. So we'll go ahead and collect each of these. So combat in this game is pretty fast, so it's not too hard to get experience as we go around and about. I'll try not to grind too much, chat. I don't think we really need it. This is... Not at all the direction I thought I was going on that map, honestly. Huh. Hmm. Is this like a boss area? Oh, nightfall is happening. Oh, is this going to be like a campsite? No. Well, now I'm confused. Oh, there might be something up ahead. Let's search the area a bit. Oh, I got trolled. Oh, no. What do I have to find here? Feels like we've been walking nonstop. Uh, at all. Can we take a break? Hmm. Well, I could say, is that all you got? But I'll ask him if they're both that tired. Lexi says it doesn't phase her at all. Sahat says there's a reason us sailors call them sea legs. I like how they're both panting and we're kind of like, whatever. <laughs> Lexi says, I suppose your insatiable wanderlust does have its advantages. <laughs> Near limitless stamina, for instance. It's true, we never run out of stamina. No matter how how long we hold down the run button. It's a good feeling. So I see a save crystal, so I guess this will end up being a campsite. Okay, and then they just literally said we should camp here for the night. I don't really see tents on them, so I wonder if they're going to be like, oh, we only brought two tents or one tent or something like that. So I'm curious where they're going to go with this. So Lexi is asking if the three of us are going to be in the same camp. Mm, and she doesn't want to be in it. Yeah, there's no way we could search the whole island without setting up camps. It's true. Ooh, chat. Chad, I feel like we started getting into better terms with her. So do we ask her if she wants to go back to the village or tell her to suck it up? How do you feel, chat? She's going to try to let the previous incident go, supposedly. Hmm. Because I feel like if we ask her the first question, I think she'll realize it's not an option. I mean, we, we literally can fast travel everywhere, so this conversation feels a bit weird, but you know how it is. Hmm. Since I'm not seeing too many things in the chat, I'm just going to say, do you want to go ahead back to the village? She says, much as I'm loath to admit it, returning to the village simply isn't an option. Okay, that's about what I thought she would say. So we made her realize the right decision indirectly. That's thinking ahead right there. Um, Both our options are I did it. So I'll say just leave it to me for whether or not we can set up the camp. So he said, I should have figured you're an adventurer. Let's get started. We're going to have like a five-story house or something. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, game. I was just joking about the house. <laughs> Island's obvious lack of light sources. I assume nights here would be pitch dark. And yet, the moons and stars are far brighter than I thought them to be. Chat, we are really good at making campsites. 
We sailors rely on the moons and stars to help us navigate at sea. Some things can only really be seen at night, long after the sun goes down. What made you want to become a fisherman, Sahad? Huh? Uh, why do you want to know? <sighs> huh? Well, uh, guess you could say I didn't have a choice. Hmm. I grew up on an island called Crete. Pretty much all we got there is the sea. Doesn't matter how old you are, if you want to eat, you gotta fish it up yourself. So, where I'm from, if you want to live, you gotta fish. Simple as that. I can't even imagine what that must have been like. Wasn't it difficult for you to grow up in a harsh environment like that? Harsh? I suppose. I've had my fair share of hardships over the years, and the sea, she could be gentle like a mother, but she could also be terribly violent. Hmm. So we could respond to that last comment about, with a, tell me about it, dot dot dot, or I too have learned about, have learned that about the sea. Hmm. I just don't like the phrasing at the bottom statement. I think I'm going to do the first one, chat. Yeah. I can hear it in your voice. The sea's made a lasting impression on you. She's made an impression on me, too. That's why I respect her. What? The sea is both bountiful and mighty. She's provided me with delicious meals and shaped me into the man sitting before you. Shaped you? I, you can't face the sea in all her grand majesty unless you first accept how small you are. The sea's no place for bluster or bravado. She don't stand for that nonsense. One careless misstep is all it takes to lose everything. Humans are small, fragile creatures, especially out there. Oh. When I realized that, I thought, I need to accept how small I am and be true to myself. And once I did that, I felt like I could face the world for the first time. It's kind of funny hearing Sahad saying that he's the small person and he has to accept that and he's like the largest character here. <laughs> Are none of them gonna comment upon the ridiculous house tent behind them? No? That's why I don't like being dishonest. I've been true to myself for a long time, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. Wow. <laughs> did you just, or I think I under, I think I'm gonna ignore what the game did and say I think I understand you better. Damn right, I'm Sahad Nautilus of Crete. <laughs> Being true to oneself. All right, I'm feeling much lighter now. Time to hit the hay. Let's get some shut eye, you two. Hold on a second. Huh? You will sleep near the entrance, Sahad. Mr. Kristen will sleep in the center, and I will be in the far corner. Wait, that would place me downwind. Perhaps I should sleep near the entrance. <laughs> Okay, that made me laugh a little. <laughs> we have our massive save crystal. We're gonna go back for that other event. I hope I didn't miss it. <laughs> I caught a lot today too. Uh, unsubtitled comment? I think he said I caught a lot again too. It's kind of a strange thing. Welcome to the Temple of the Great Tree. Oh no, every time we sleep we're going to have one of these. As candidates to become the next maiden of the Great Tree, this temple is your home now. Chat, how long do you think it's going to take for these cutscenes before something terrible happens to the characters in said cutscenes? 
There exists a power that allows one to manipulate the laws of nature. With this power, one can read the wind, control water and fire, and even foresee the future. Well, we know the last part is true from the previous cutscene. We call this power essence. You are gathered here today because each of you are blessed with the power of essence. I feel like I can replace that with mana. <laughs> it would fit very much in with Legend of Mana. Under our tutelage, you will receive a proper education. When the time comes, one of you will become chosen to be... Or excuse me, one of you will be chosen to become the next Maiden of the Great Tree. As you know, the Maiden of the Great Tree stands on equal footing with the Queen of Eternia. Hmm. They all have very interesting hairstyles. I like that they are all unique enough that you could at least tell... A little bit, maybe, about their personalities. It's kind of like the idea of looking at the silhouette and what's unique about them. I, I kind of like it. So even though they're all in very similar garbs, they don't look the same, even if we don't see their face. Please keep that in mind as you face what lies ahead. So maybe this is... It could, it could be Dana, or it could be maybe one of her friends that we saw there. So, unknow unknown narrator. That's strange, I thought it was this way. Yeah, this looks like... Donna. Well, wow, what a magnificent tree. Is this the Great Tree of Origins? The center of the entire kingdom? And we very briefly saw a flash of a a woman there. Middle-aged, but not too much was shown, so I didn't get too many details. She kind of had like a motherly figure pose, the way she was angled. Donna's questioning the vision she saw of a woman. I have a feeling this is going to be a secret. Oh dear, are you a candidate? You're not supposed to be here. Your eminence? Uh-oh. Is a woman sleeping inside the Great Tree of Origins? Hmm? And she goes, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked you such a strange question. Ooh, you saw it too. It says, presumably, eminence? Queen? Could be king. She admits to seeing it. What is your name, child? Donna, listen carefully. Do not speak of what you just saw to anyone. It could undo the world itself. Hmm. So that's a, a little ominous. Although, if you do become the next maiden, perhaps that time will come? Uh, okay, queen. Looks like the cleric finally released you from her sermon. Sarai. Ooh, we have another character. Maybe that's one of the people we saw earlier. Did you come to pick me up? So she didn't come alone. The Grouch is with me too. So we have Sahai and Olga. So we have two names of the six characters I think we saw. Mm. Don't owe Olga me. I swear you're such a troublemaker. You snuck out of the temple to go wandering around the black market. You entered a cleric's room without permission and destroyed things, claiming it was research. And just now you just a trial ceremony to sneak into the Garden of the Great Tree, so Donna's being scolded by her friends. What is wrong with Donna? What a great question. So she apologizes. I don't know who's saying forgetting something. Donna's definitely the one saying huh, though. The baby bird you're hiding under your clothes. I bet you snuck into the garden to save it. Uh-oh. Now she's asking how... I guess Olga's speaking? How Olga knew. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and take care of it. Otherwise you'll miss out on dinner if you keep dragging your feet. Okay, it was Olga speaking. This is where definitely having the character name first would have helped a little bit, because they're showing three different characters. But I could kind of 
assume some things there, which isn't too bad. Hmm. <laughs> What's so funny, Sarai? It's nothing. For the top maiden candidate, you're sure to worry about Donna a lot. So, Olg so presumably something will happen to Olga, right, chat? Because I have a feeling Donna is chosen in the end, since we're still seeing a flashback. Yes, well, I'm sure you've noticed that tendency of hers. And I guess this is Sarai talking, so tendency. Olga replies, if Donna thinks someone or something is in trouble, she'll risk life and limb to save it. Generally speaking, that is an admirable quality. But Donna doesn't think things through. She's impulsive and reckless. Sahai said, I think that's sweet. Olga responds, that's not the point. Sure, it's all well and good right now, but if she continues down this path, dot, 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 ominous. I had a feeling it was going to cut off there. She goes on to become Arcane Olga in Shadow Hearts. It's a good theory, Chris. So Sahad is happy to be in another beautiful day. And he's asking why we look tired. So I'm just going to keep saying I had a strange dream until they believe me. Oh, see, Laxia said, you did, didn't you mention something about a dream the other day? See that? We're consistent. I like that the game acknowledges our previous choice. Oh, she told us to pull yourself together. Wow. We can't find the other castaways or map this area without you. Well, I guess she's acknowledging we're useful. And we're asking how she slept. She got more rest than she expected. Zahad is glad to hear it. Lexi misses a bed. I mean, she seems like a noble family member. But I'm kind of curious because it feels like she's definitely hiding something. So she could be lying about her position. She could, for example, maybe her family just lost power. Or maybe she's exiled. Or maybe she's even lying which family she's from. Like, she could be adopted or something like that, so she doesn't have, like, true inheritance. I feel like there's something a little more to her backstory we haven't seen yet. Maybe it'll become clear as she interacts with the other noble members. Because think about where she was in position with the ship. She wasn't talking to, like, the two characters that are very, very clearly noble men. And she doesn't necessarily have the right attitudes for someone born into the life. So I have a feeling something's going to go along those lines. Okay, so we're going to keep making campsites so we have more places to rest. Lexi admits that, it, that Sahad is right, and we should consider another safe location in the future for more campsites. Campsites. Setting up camp has many advantages. You can rest to restore HP, SP, and the extra gauge. Extra gauge could be fun. You could cook meals over the campfire. Campsites contain crystals that can be utilized for fast travel. Nearby event points have been marked on the map. Okay, so the parrot talked because it unlocked new locations. I want to go backwards slightly. We missed something. I don't know where this something is. And we also apparently missed treasure. I mean, there's one treasure we definitely missed. But I'm a little surprised about the other one. <laughs> it's done. Hmm... Wait, I forget how we actually use that. I can keep going. Hmm, okay, and then it gets a cooldown. I see. So we're gonna try to backtrack slightly since maybe it's a landmark I missed. So while I'm backtracking, I was trying to think about the title of the game since we're here, right chat? So we're many parts into this particular series, but this one's called the, the Lacrimosa of Donna. So Lacrimosa, if we take the word by itself, if I recall correctly, means weeping. If we were to translate it, it's usually associated with Requiems. I'm not sure how close it'll be to the fact of, I want to say, Mozart was writing a piece and he died in the middle of writing one. 
I'm not sure if this will... Oop, I'm getting distracted by combat. But I'm wondering if it'll be... Her writing the tale? Because presumably there's an expected death coming. So I have a feeling if we're going the JRPG route, she's expected to maybe sacrifice herself. Because that's a big thing in the JRPGs, especially with the trees. I always feel like somebody has to become one with the tree. So I'm wondering if this is like she already knows that this is her fate kind of thing. And then like the whole thing will be a retrospective for her. I'm curious if it's going that way. Wow, I'm getting a lot of flash moves. So I'm a little curious about that because they talked about the end of the world and they haven't really talked about what the duties of the Maiden are exactly. So I find that a little interesting. So I'm, I'm not sure what the chat thinks. <laughs> Look at that one wolf. <laughs> Poor wolf. Hmm. It says we're right on it, but I don't see what the landmark is. Unless the landmark is off. Because we don't make any comments about this area. Or like the tree. Huh. Like what happens if I backtrack to the previous area? I'm a little curious. Ooh, we got a stalactite. Hmm. I am not sure what it wants us to find. If I go here, is it still the same spot? No. I mean, I like the music in this area, but that's not what I thought it would be. Yeah, see, we don't have anything to do over here. Oh, I got poisoned. That's not good. That is actually costing me a lot of health. I'm going to hold still to see if he regens over time or not to outheal it. Allow me. Let's go. So while poisoned, he doesn't seem to be really getting any health back. Does this wear off at any point? I mean, it seems like he's losing health at a really fast rate. Huh. Maybe I will treat it then. Do I have anything that can treat it? See, we have regular potions, but I don't think I have anything that's anti-poison explicitly. Hmm. Because most of these I don't think are worth using, and it feels a little weird to use a heal potion on this. So maybe I'll just stop using him for a little bit. That's a bit of shame. I mean, I hope he doesn't die. I'll just take him back to the camp, I guess. So let's just quickly reuse the camp. So we have to be very careful, since this seems... Since this seems a little difficult to get rid of that condition. Are they just, like, running repeatedly in the background? Yes, he was. Okay. Hmm. So where does chat think this event is? I am absolutely not seeing it. I love that the caterpillar just explodes into cabbage. Hmm. I mean, it says it's in this area, but I didn't see anything that should qualify for, like, a landmark. I'm just going to walk all the way to the end of this. There we go. Oh, oh wait, I can't actually jump down from here? Really? Huh. That's weird. 
Hmm. Chad, I don't know what we're missing. Other than that, Hill does not want to cooperate with us. Hmm. I am definitely open to suggestions from the chat. It seems like we should be able to find something. I mean, I must have walked by whatever it is multiple times. Like, are we going to comment upon, like, the lake over there or something? But we have to be, like, the right height? Let me just clear these enemies so they're not in our way. Hmm. Because that almost looks like it could be a landmark, but... It's not, according to the map? Hmm. I'm just thinking about, like, where else we could go for it at this point. Very strange. I want to check one thing before we continue further. So I'm a little stumped as to what it wants. Um, I mean, I thought the area back here should have had a landmark. Like, am I going to comment upon, like, the tree, for example? Because it seems like... It seems like that should have been something they talked about. Oh, I got hit by the poison. Because this is just the same area, but closer. Hmm. <laughs> that's what- that's what that enemy gets for interrupting me. I'm just gonna freeze time, it's fine. That hit- that stuns them from a surprisingly far distance, honestly speaking. Hmm. I'm just re-exploring here. So this whole area does not count as a landmark, which is... I'm not gonna say super surprising, but a little disappointing. We were here earlier. I'll get a little extra honey in case we need it later for a quest. Hmm. What a conundrum. So nothing else we could do here. We climbed up here and supposedly another landmark is here. Hmm. There's also some other place up here we can't reach. So it's possible the landmark could be up there. So I'm just making sure we aren't missing something obvious. So nothing was available there. Nothing else looked like a landmark over here. I'll take this for now. I'll re-destroy this tree and I guess we'll make progress for now. Because again, maybe it's on the upper path. That's the only thing I can think of. It is a little deceptive when you look at the map, because I would have figured it was more in the southwest. So I think I'll try moving on from now. I I don't see what it could be at this point. Because if it's not that inlet there... Well, that wolf had crazy airtime. Hmm. So we'll try to keep in mind that we can wrap around at some point. And I might as well as rest again just to get the extra gauge back. There doesn't really seem to be any downside for doing so. Oh, that was a new dialogue line. So I'm going to quickly go back to town to make sure no new quests have shown up. And then we're going to continue with the plot. No quests. 
Yeah, they don't seem to have any new dialogue. You didn't make much progress. He's still not impressed with their map. That's a shame. So anyway, at least the fast travel is pretty quick in this game. I guess we'll take more healing items. Not that I think we need them. Ooh, dungeon? Ooh, the Gujian 3 introduction of areas. Towering Coral Forest. Oh no, platforming. Oh. So Lexia says, What a fascinating place that looks as though it was carved from these cliffs. Sahad mentions it's a bunch of coral, or at least it looks like it. Lexia presumes that maybe because more of the island has recently come out of the water, that this is indeed the remains of a coral reef. Okay, so he's asking whether or not we should search this place. I'm gonna say we should search this place. We're an adventurer. Maybe we'll figure out a way to climb or do something else. As I'm trying to think, like climbing would be the most natural thing to include next, but it's possible we'll get other overworld abilities. Okay, so they agree with us. And now we're gonna go ahead and murder everything in our way. Oof, those one shots are gross. So let's keep an eye out here since it seems pretty easy to end up on the wrong floor. <laughs> My bad. That's what happens if I dodge roll too quickly into a skill. I will apparently just really nuke that dead enemy. I mean, that's not even fair. It tried jumping to me, but it couldn't. Hmm. There seems to be a little path down here. Ah, the tree. So we're going to have to keep in mind that we can also backtrack from here to save ourselves some time at some point. <laughs> oh, I was not paying attention. He would have got me. If that was a high difficulty and that killed me, I would have been so sad, chat. Oh, I was ready to twist her into him. So I see it... Man, they come from deceptively high angles. Wait, did we just get a new skill? Grand Anchor? How much does it cost? Only 12? Wait, so let me get this straight. It has more range than Vortex. And it's better at breaking than the other skill? Its power is lower, but I mean, did you see the range on that thing? Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh, chat, oh no. What is this range? Sweet remedy attained. Oh no, chat. Chat, I didn't need this. I mean, I was fine with what I had before. Wow. Just wow, chat, honestly. Oh, and you can rapid cancel into it like that? Oh, I didn't even try that before. Huh. So if I have a lot of skill points, I can just repeatedly spam it. That's kind of neat. Hmm. So uh, I don't want to see the world map. How do I... Area map. Oh, wait a minute. Does that mean I could have seen where this one is? Oh, the landmark was over here, apparently. Hmm. I didn't see anything, but you know what, chat? Let's, let's go back for the landmark. 
I was just thinking about maybe if I switched the map type, I could see where it was. So apparently it was along the cliff face. Yeah, so this move is definitely weaker than his other moves, but I mean, like, that range, though. So something along the cliff face. See that? It's like over here. Well, anyway, we're getting a lot of extra materials, which was not my intent. Did... Adol, did you just phase into the wall, or was that just me? Oh! Oh, I... N hmm. I know where this is. This is not where I thought it was. That's why we can't see it. We have to go back to the... Where do we have to go to see this? I actually think it's faster to go back to the Castaway Village for this. Yeah, that was, like, deceptive. The world map, I think, is a little bit of a lie. I'm not gonna lie. But in terms of our area map, this should put us about where it is, supposedly. Yeah, it's like around the corner. <laughs> oh, chat. Oh, it's trying to dodge roll it. Oh, and that can even... Oh, the shockwave can help us gather crops. Oh. Oh, we have to climb up to it. Oh, I see what it wants us to do. Okay, so let's take a closer look at it. Right, it's probably that mass of whatever that's up there. Okay, I feel a little better. So w we just can't investigate it yet because we can't go up high enough. Okay, well then we'll continue with the other dungeon. Now that I at least see what it is, I feel better about it. Because that was going to bother me. Oh yeah, so if we climb, then we can go ahead and get to that other area, which presumably we'll need at least six people, maybe eight. Okay. So I'm going to ignore most of these enemies, it's fine. I like them just building up meter as we're running along. That, that's fair. Ooh, antidotes attained. Okay, so I actually don't really want to power level because I'm noticing I get full healed every single time I level. So I really don't want to get into too many fights. So that kept our experience roughly normal. So we have a path that goes downwards. Oops. What are you? So I guess if I mess up, this is going to be the path I take to come back up here, presumably. So we'll see how far along I can stay up here. So we're getting a lot of the flexible branches back, which is good. Oh, I almost rolled off. That would have been bad. So we got a lot of rock soul, a lot of white meat, so we can make fish soup basically forever at this raid. So without being able to guard, that is a little spooky. Oh, he can hit him across the gap? Oh my gosh. Chad, how is that fair? What a monster, Chad. He doesn't even have a projectile. Oh. They're going on some kind of killing spree down there. Hello, partners. Go kill whatever you see. Sure. So let's try to make this jump. 
Okay, I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that I can roll midair to extend the jump. So there's a treasure chest above us. Let's try to get to that. Again, we'll go down eventually. Okay, right, so there's some kind of... There's some kind of vine I think I can use to wrap around the cliff, but I, given that I can't climb yet, we're gonna ignore that for now. How did... How did I get poisoned there? What hit me, chat? I didn't see what hit me. I thought they all died. Wait, where's the antidote? What? I saw the re- Oh, it was up here. Alright, let's make sure we don't get poisoned, because in a dungeon, that seems dangerous. Can we- <laughs> Can we really not get that treasure chest, chat? <laughs> chat, this hurts me on the inside. Like, come- <laughs> We're so close to it, chat. There's nothing I could do for more elevation. Because the main character goes up slightly higher when I do his triple swing. But that's not enough to make that gap. Man, we're going to have to come back for that. That sucks. Okay, well we did at least see that there is a treasure here. And we're going to have to come back for it. Several treasures we can't reach yet. Hmm. So we can't take that path, because we still can't climb that. Alright, let's try to get the running st start that I need. Oh my gosh, I barely made that jump because I misaligned. But we made it anyway. So we have to somehow get over there. Which, I don't think we could jump this. Yeah, no, it doesn't let you do it. Hmm. Well, okay, let's take a look below us. Is there something we can land on for a hidden item? So let's try to take advantage of where we can fall. So there's some SP flower there. Oh, see? See, chat, this is why I'm glad I looked around. See, now there's a chest you can only reach if you fall from there. So we have quite a few chests that are a little tricky to get to. But I'm not seeing one that explicitly needs us to fall on it. I suppose I could fall here. I think they were making a fishing comment. So I'm going to look around for the fish shadows in a second. I didn't see any yet. Oh, there they are. Obstacles prevent you from fishing. There we go. Pretty easy to fish up. Well, that's not bad. Uh, we've gotten this one before. That's a shame. Let's go. Here we go. Again, this seems like a new area, so we should at least try to fish here. But we'll need more bait in the future. So I'm not sure if there's an easy way to get bait or not, other than killing the giant starfish. Ooh. Feels like a big one. Oh, he got another treasure chest. Okay, what's in it this time? Another big pearl. Yes, I'm going. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> it bounced off the wall, and made a cartoon sound. <laughs> That's a nice touch. So another big pearl, not bad. Come on, new fish. I did it. Nope. That's a shame. Leave it to me. Hmm. I think I sat on them while they were falling and that still killed them. That's just unfortunate for them, really. So nothing up here, it seems. So fortunately, we leveled and healed. So that's good for us. That guy sniped me, jeez. Okay, with how many vines are here, I'm really hoping we get a new item soon. Come 
My turn now. Speaking of which, I think somebody else learned a new skill. Was it her? No, maybe it was Adol. Rising Slash. So he's already got Aerial Spin, so maybe I can swap them a little bit. Yeah. Switch. So we saw that. Okay, simple enough. Oh, I actually made that in one try, but then I fell off. That was silly. Hmm. How do I get this last... Oh, there we go! See, look at that chat. Sahad's even the best jumper. How, how unfair is that? Defense elixir attained. Um, I guess I should technically give it to the protagonist, because I might have to 1v1 with this character at some point. We have to prepare for that inevitable moment, so it wouldn't hurt to be a little more powerful. Sahad doesn't need more strength, but if the other characters can get on Sahad's level, maybe that'll help us in the long run. I mean, he just face tanked that and it just kind of tickled him. Hmm, so I don't think we're able to continue further aerial... I'm s uh, I'm hold on. I'm sorry. How many aerial rolls are you allowed to do? Is it infinite in the air? Let's just kind of roll and roll and roll in like <laughs> Oh, Sahad. I mean, chat, that is a ridiculous hang time. Look at that. Oh, well, hello there. Oh. Oh, I flesh guarded him by accident into the super. So I guess that works. What a monster chat. <laughs> Hello, treasure chest. More healing items. I mean, Sahad can apparently just time stop on demand. Why do we? Why do we even want to? Why do they doubt his power and try to fight him? It's just foolishness at this point. Oh, he's treating his wound. Maybe I. My, my ankle. It hurts. Maybe I was right about this guy being a doctor. I thought his outfit was a little strange. What are you waiting for? Tend to my injury at once. Please be still. You seem to have sprained your ankle. So he says, this is not a serious injury, but just to be safe, I'll make a splint for your ankle. Hmm. Hmm. I want to see how he reacts when he sees us. So noble looking man is bemoaning his misfortune. If only the ship hadn't sunk. Lexia says these two look familiar. Okay, so this is the first couple of people that she actually recognized. Who am I, you ask? Sir Carlin. You are in the presence of Sir Carlin, honorable noble of the Roman Empire. Hmm. I'm curious how Laxia is going to react, especially the more he talks about nobility. I'm very curious what she'll say. My name is Kiergaard. I'm doctor, actually. Kiergaard the doctor. I don't know what it is, chat, but I'm getting kind of like serial killer vibes from him. I'm very curious what the, where they're going to go with him. There's just something about his face and him being a doctor. He's he's hitting like two of the check marks in my JRPG instincts. I don't trust this doctor. Who are you folks?
Okay, so we introduced ourselves. Carlin's asking what's going to happen to us. And he wants us to prepare a ship to leave the island post haste. But yeah, a little premature for that. Well, I'm thinking with him, it's more like... I'm really curious. I'm really curious if we'll come across other people or how he's going to react to it, right? Because, like, he could be quote unquote helping them to get their guard down so he could get information as to where other people are. If that makes sense. Because he could kind of off people whenever he wants, especially if he's on his own. So I feel like the nobleman is going to, is like purposely the red herring where we know he's a terrible person and Sahad saying things like, oh, he's a doctor. We're in luck. I feel will then be the twist where the doctor is the worst of the characters. So I feel like I feel like they've set it up if they're going to do that because they said all the right lines if they're going to go that way. There's a possibility it won't, but I'm letting you know, Chad. I'm, I'm just... I'm going to call it right now. I don't trust this doctor. We stayed put and wait for help to arrive, but after a while, it didn't seem like help with us on his way, so we decided to look for other... He's... He's looking for others. Mm-hmm. I never would have guessed that this island was completely deserted, though. He has a better idea of what's going on now. It's probably best if we go with you to Castaway Village. I don't know if I don't know if he's on par with Captain Death Flag though, Chris, because I I know you're asking if he's on par with him and the apparently the evil parrot mastermind, but we'll see. Oh, the nobleman's talking to Laxia. Hmm. Is he gonna do something where he doesn't recognize her and then like her cover is somewhat compromised? I wonder if that's what's about to happen. So now she has to name her house. So, she says Garmin. Are you a provincial noble? I believe I've heard mention of that family as of late. Hmm. And then she doesn't say anything. See, chat, I feel like her family is either fallen. Re there's, something, there's something going on with it, and this is confirming it more. So he doesn't know of her directly, but then maybe he'll know indirectly, like he'll know about like some, like they had to disband or they they had to give up nobility. There's going to be some twists like that. And she's going to be like maybe going for her family honor. Maybe it's going that way with her. We'll see, chat. So now he's forcing us to help him go back to the village. Come along now, chop chop. You may even carry me if it pleases you. Mm. Take you guys back to Castaway Village. Wow, Dogi is a stalker. I, I think he just punched his way here. Oh look, the parrot's here. I happen to be in the area already, taking care of a few things. Dogi, don't don't sound like a serial killer. You're like yes. I came across a few problems and they were dealt with. <laughs> like Dogi, don't 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 make me suspicious of you. Hmm. So the parrot just knows this mostly is red. I was about to head back now just anyway. I'm it's you went pretty far. One does not casually walk this way. He doesn't wish to be escorted by a hulking brute like him. And then let me guess, he's going to walk fine because he doesn't want to be lifted by the other guy. I'm thinking that's where this is going, chat. If, th if this is the setup. Hmm. And Sir Carlin's walking just fine. Oh, look at that. I'm perfectly capable of walking on my own. Thank you very much, he says to Doki. I had a feeling, chat.
What a guy. So Sahai kind of tells it what it is. He's going to be a pain. Adol, can I talk? Can we talk before I go? Mm-hmm. It's interesting to me that you call yourself an adventurer, he says. I'm going to say thanks. Can't say if I've run an adventure before, but it's a nice descriptor for you. Chat, I'm telling you, something's really weird about this guy. So, he's a doctor and he's never seen adventures before? I don't know, chat. Something's not adding up. Because I feel like the people that explore the most would see the doctor the most. Oh, and he's going to tell us some pertinent information, huh? What do you have to tell us? There was actually a third castaway with us, but she chose to stay behind. Um... Ooh, chat, we can ask her... Or not ask her, we can ask him a description of her so we could find her. Or we could inquire about what she stayed behind for. Hmm. You know what? I think I think if we see anybody, we'll find them anyway. But maybe if we know why she stayed behind, maybe we can use that to find her later. Oh, she was put off by Sir Carlin. I would assume she's still at the original spot where we washed ashore. Yeah, where is the spot? The other side of the forest, apparently. Could you please speak to her if you happen to find her? I mean, I'm thinking about how many females were there, right? There was the the obvious merchant. Then there was somebody who I thought was like a carpenter. She was decked out with like a million tools. So I don't know what other professions she could be. She's a brave woman. Oh, the little sexism there. I'm looking at you, Kiergaard. Women are capable too, Kiergaard. Okay, so he's thanking us for the help, and he's walking away. Or the nun. It could be the nun as well. Because we already found the seamstress. I'm not sure if I'm forgetting anybody. I don't think I am. Oh, or, mm, the little girl. Well, I feel like he would have said little girl if it was the little girl. So I see a save point. So I have a feeling we're going to fight a boss chat. So let's go ahead and touch that. Oh, look at this. Look at this big old boss arena. Look at this. Hello, Mr. Turtle. Oh, you have like pus sacks on your back. That doesn't look good. Serpentus, the merciless mall of terror. Wait, Serpent Serpentus? It's not a snake. Get out of here. Oh, look at that last second dodge chat. Oh, I should have dodged into it. I'm going to build up some meter. Oh, I dodged too slow. Oh, I tried rolling into him to get the flash guard. Oh, that sends me flying. Oh, hello. That was extremely aggressive. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll finish things up with this character.
Zahad definitely was out damaging everybody though. So I didn't expect him to get as aggressive towards the end, so I let my guard down a little bit there. Yeah, I felt like he didn't really hurt us at all, and then he was just like, one, two, three, and I was like, wow, that was like half my health. So hey, normal mode's starting to perk up a little, at least with the boss fights. A good place to fish. Apparently it's a good place to fish. Well, this is our last bait. I hope I catch a big one. So we're going to have to figure out how easier ways to get bait in the future. I think that's a new fish type. Ryunga. Stalactite, Tektite, or Iron Ore. Hey, we got a new type of ore. But we're unfortunately out of bait now. Hmm. We'll have to come back here and fish later. 